and welcome back to the 4Play channel. I'm Bella. I'm Chase. Before we get into today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. It's free to you, helps us out a lot. And also leave a comment on what other kind of videos you'd like to see from us. Or if you finish this video and you have questions, let us know down below. So we did a video about Bliss versus Temptation Cruise, which one maybe is better for you. And then we also made a Bliss video. So now we wanted to make a Temptation Cruise video so we could tell you what Temptation Cruise 2022 was like. I think we're gonna do one of these every single year so we can kind of go in detail about that specific ship. This cruise took place in February of 2022 and it was on the Celebrity Summit, which was an amazing ship. Demographic wise, we feel like this cruise did skew a little bit more on the younger side. We did feel like we found more people in our age range and at that time we were 29, but the general population was probably late 30s to mid 40s. Overall, we feel like it was a party vibe. The people who were there, we feel like were also very young heart as well and then a unique thing about temptation is that it does allow singles and so you don't have to be a couple to go on this cruise you per cabin none of you even need to be in a couple you could all be singles and that's single males and single females so like i said earlier it was on the celebrity summit which was an amazing ship the ship was actually refurbished in 2021 so it was very new very up to date this cruise was also five nights long which we felt like was a really great amount of time especially with how hard everyone party. This ship was not a huge ship. I would say it was like a moderate medium sized ship, which we really, really liked. We felt like you were able to find your friends very easily. People kind of went to the same areas to party. So we thought the size of the ship was perfect for a lifestyle cruise. We don't know the exact number of guests that was on this ship, but it was probably right around 2000 people, which is a huge amount of people that are, you know, lifestyle or open to the lifestyle or just party type people in one place. So we thought it was a really fun crowd. One thing to note is Temptation is not a lifestyle cruise. It's just a lifestyle friendly cruise. I don't know how many percentage of people on there are lifestyle compared to not, but I feel like a lot of the people that we met were lifestyle, so they have playrooms and stuff. It's marketed as an adult spring break, as in it's very, very friendly to lifestyle people. If you want to see how the specific ship is set up, you can always look at any of the deck plans that you can find online for Celebrity Summit. But this one was unique because it did have that red room or that playroom that was on the third floor. They had quite a bit of beds over there. You did have to be in either lingerie or a robe to get into the playroom. So you couldn't just be in street clothes or like normal party clothes to go into the playroom. There were two pools and four hot tubs. And there was also a solarium area as well. So there's lots of places that you could party out on the or on a deck. So next we're gonna get into themes. One thing I really love about Temptation is they do a night theme every single night and then the days that you are not getting off the ship that are not port days, they also do daytime themes. The two daytime themes were one was a pink flamingo theme, which is pretty much just a wear pink type theme. You definitely saw people in flamingo stuff, but it was just a bunch of pink that day. The other day theme, which is said is like a pool party theme, was an island vibe. And so that was just a bunch of people wearing, you know, tropical shirts, fun things like that. And I love the fact that they had the pool parties during the daytime and that they had themes for them. The night themes were, there was an 80s night. There was a midsummer's night dream party, which was really, really cool. They also had a lace and lingerie party, which was kind of like a sexy, fun little feel for a party night. They had a Valentine's day party, which was like the form night because this cruise ship this year was on Valentine's Day. And then they also had a very classic staple to the lifestyle, which was a glow party, which is always super fun. The unique thing about Temptation Cruise is that the drink package is included. So it's not the very premium package, but your alcohol is included on here as well as the food. And the food was amazing. Again, if you want to know the specifics of that, you can just look up the Celebrity Summit food. It's not like they had any extra foods because this was a chartered ship, but there were different restaurants that you could dine at that was included included in the price. There was the buffet that was included. And there were also specialty restaurants if you wanted to pay extra to have a nicer meal, like at a steak restaurant or at an Asian restaurant. The ship was refurbished recently. And so accommodation wise, everywhere was gorgeous. I mean, the rooms were modern. The bathrooms were so pretty. Yes. I mean, like all of the different restaurants, all the different bars, there were so many different bars that you could go to, to meet and mingle. And everything looked so nice. Activity wise, they had quite a bit of options. So they did have some seminars that you could go and you can learn about different things, whether that be about the lifestyle or pleasure. There were lots of different ones that you could choose from. They had everything listed on a, we call it cruise compass, yes. but it's kind of like a brochure that they gave you 
you the night before to know what activities were happening for the next day. And another thing that we loved about Temptation Cruise is that they had playmakers. So imagine these people as the, the workers there that kind of just got the party going. Yes. They were always dancing, they were always getting people to kind of talk and mingle and everything. And we think that that is so important to this because it really helps you break the ice with other people as well. And whenever you see somebody partying and having fun, it makes you want to do that too. The Playmakers also hosted a bunch of different pool games and sometimes games during the day as well that also helped break the ice and they were fun to watch. So if you were ever to go on one of those vanilla cruises and they played any of those kind of pool games, they did that, but imagine it more sexy. So show wise, kind of like everything else, they did have the normal shows that you would see, the music, dancing, all those kinds of things, but they had some fun other shows. The shows that they had that were different on the ship that we thought were really, really cool was they did have an adult comedian here, yo. They made swinger jokes. It was more built for a swinger audience. They also had a show that was almost like an adult scavenger hunt and you had different teams, the playmakers led the teams. They'd be like, we need the first person to find lipstick, the first person to find lube, like things like that. And your team got points. We feel like everyone got so into it. And that was one of my favorite shows. But the coolest show that they had this year was something called Erotic, which was almost like burlesque meets Magic Mike. And they just played all this sexy music and it was like- But also these... meets like Cirque du Soleil. Yeah. I mean, it was incredible. It was men and women doing all these like sexy, dance routines and like flying from tapestries and it was incredible and it was the coolest show we have ever seen on a cruise ship by far. Music wise, they did play a lot of EDM. We do wish that they played more top 40 music that you could or R&B music or some kind of like rap or hip hop yeah. that you could really grind and like dance to, but there was quite a bit of EDM. It wasn't bad or anything, but we do wish that it skewed a little bit less EDM. What we like about cruises is that you are traveling from place to place. So you get to visit different ports. And so at these ports, they have the normal excursions that you would book through the ship. And again, you can find all of that information on Celebrity's website. They also offered some extra excursions. So there were some that were more adult-like, and so they had like a boobs cruise, stuff like that. And so that's something you would book through Temptation or whenever you were there on the ship. A couple of miscellaneous things to keep in mind. Temptation is topless. It is not fully nude like some of the other lifestyle cruises. So just remember it is only topless and you're only able to be topless on like the main deck area and also within certain times. So if you're at a port that's not owned by, you know, Celebrity or Royal Caribbean and also there's not other ships by you, you have to have your top on, but there is, a lot of time where if you wanna to be topless, you have the time to do it. It also, like Bella said earlier, it includes alcohol, which you feel like is a really, really cool thing. It also is a little bit cheaper of a price point than some of the other cruises. Now it is shorter, so you gotta take that in consideration too, but it is a little bit lower of a price point starting out if you're looking for a little bit cheaper of an option when it comes to lifestyle type vacations. This year, it went out of Florida, it was out of Miami, so it was a really cool port to go out of, so you gotta go to a lot of cool little port cities. And then also the other thing that's really, really great is the staff on the ship was absolutely amazing. Also note that the staff that works on the ship cannot go into the playrooms, things like that, so you don't have to worry about anything like that, but they are amazing in you know, the buffet and in the dining rooms and everywhere else on the ship, your stateroom attendants, everyone was absolutely amazing. Also the Temptation staff, so everyone that was working with Temptation was also incredible. So I said overall, the people were just great on this ship. Overall, we absolutely loved Temptation Cruise. We are already booked out for Temptation 2023, and we, as long as we are available and in the country, we will be attending Temptation Cruise. Yeah. If you wanted more in-depth information about Temptation Cruise, we do have a longer podcast episode about it that you can listen to that we'll link below, and we also have some uh, spicy story times that we had on Temptation Cruise as well that you can also listen to on our podcast. And if you guys are considering ongoing Temptation Cruise and any of the other lifestyle cruises, if you will book through our link, it doesn't cost anything extra to you, but it helps us out so much. It really helps support the videos and the podcast and everything else that we're making. If you go to foreplay.com slash cruise, if you go to that link, it'll have all the information about the cruises. And if you book through our link, I said it really helps us out. We also have a little private chat with all the people going on that specific vacation. We'll do a little meet and greet so everyone can get to know everybody, have a group dinner. And so it should just be a really, really fun time. So if you guys are interested, as I said, make sure to go to foreplay.com slash cruise to learn all about it. But thank you guys so much for watching. We really, really appreciate it. Make sure to leave this video a like, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions about this ship, anything else, or any videos you wanna see for us in the future. And we will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.